I think I found one of the most annoying websites for user experience, and it's Zara.com, which is a luxury clothing brand. Now, I definitely don't do my shopping on this website. It was actually a friend who suggested it that was complaining about the bad user experience she had that brought it to my attention. Basically, there are so many little frustrating things going on in this site that just make it less effective. A lot of it seems to follow the idea that they want form over function, and I want to explain to you why this is bad. I want to basically go through this site with you and explain all the UX and UI things I see wrong with it that makes it a less effective website. And hopefully, if you ever plan to make a website like this, you can stop before the website architect starts critiquing your website. Let's start with the homepage. And there's a lot here. The first thing going on is the vertical slider. This is actually something I already touched on in my 50 web design mistakes video, but this layout does not promote a good user experience. In fact, I don't know if you know this, but this website is an e-commerce website. You buy clothes off here. This homepage layout does not intuit that at all. It looks like a teaser for a movie. The first thing I expect when coming on an e-commerce website is a grid of products. But on this site, I just get a video of a man stroking a dog. Not only there's a vertical slider, but there's also a horizontal one too. So because the layout of the homepage wasn't enough to have the amount of content they want, they had to add in a horizontal slider just to be able to add in the other shit that they want. These sliders are horrible because I have to put in more effort to get to the content. You may think to yourself that this is a luxury clothing brand, and so they want the website to appear luxury and minimalistic like this. But at what cost? They easily could have pulled off a minimalistic luxury style while having a homepage layout that's actually effective and fully explains what the company offers and sells and what the fucking website's about. The way it is right now, if I wanted to understand what kind of products they have, I would have to manually click through all these different sliders and look at the pictures, or I have to watch these pointless videos. The next thing wrong with the site is the navigation. This is also something I touched on in my web design mistakes video, which you should check out, but the navigation is behind the hamburger button. Look at all the space at the top you have. You could easily fit a couple menu items in there to make it easier to click through the website. Not only that, but by having the menu items there, a user can easily see what pages the website has and what they're selling. If you actually click into the menu, you can see it's actually quite large, but that's not an excuse to create a poor user experience. There are more effective navigation layouts that are better for user experience. The next thing I'll kind of complain about, but, but it's not too much of a big deal, is that everything's so fucking small. This is an e-commerce site. So the search button should be a lot bigger than it is. And when you scroll down to see the typography, all the fonts are super small. Of course, this kind of goes along with their luxury aesthetic, but it's almost too small, enough that it hurts user experience. The next thing I'll critique is the fact that there's really no links in the footer. They could have easily added in links to all their different categories of products, but they didn't because they wanted to make it more minimal and more simplistic. I'll include a link in the description to a study that showed by how having product categories linked in the footer increased sales. So this is another user experience opportunity that they're just missing out on. The next issue is when you go on the actual product category pages. When you scroll down, the navigation becomes almost impossible to read when there's an image behind it. This is also something I covered in my 50 web design mistakes video. Now checking out their about page, if you scroll down, it does another thing I mentioned, which is if you scroll down, it takes control of your scrolling again. This is because it wants to play some stupid little fucking Disney film animation for you before you can scroll down even further. It's like, I know you're not interested in reading my content, but here, let me restrain you until you read it so you can continue scrolling. The last thing I'll critique is the product pages for the categories. When you scroll down, there's no defined layout. It's just a mix of different grid patterns, widths, and column sizes. And because they intuitively know that people aren't going to like this ununiformity, they have this slider that you can scroll through to change the layout to something you're familiar with. If you have to have a button to fix your website layout, then you should fix the layout, not add a button. 
Now I realize not every website has to look the same, but there is something to following basic web design principles and standards to creating a familiar and easy to use layout. This website, in my opinion, goes way too far trying to be unique and trying to reinvent the wheel on every page. I honestly think with the changes I proposed, people would click through the website more and buy more products. But because the layout kind of catches you by surprise, there's this period of friction you have to go through just to be able to use the website the way you want to. And that will conclude this video. If you have any websites that you want me to critique, comment down below and I'll consider it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to be a better web designer or developer, check out my other videos.